Hey, welcome to my next video. Glad to have y'all here. Van Kappa Woody and my little buddy Nebo. Hey, if you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit the uh, thumbs up, the like button. Uh, hit that bell and let you know when I upload the next video. Well, today I got a surprise for y'all. Uh, one of my subscribers here, he's got him a short bus. And uh, I'm going to show y'all some stuff around camp and then uh, uh, do a little quick video inside his uh, bus. All he did himself. Uh, and I'll tell y'all more about, uh, I've come to find out about him. He's <laughs> ex trucker, just like myself. So bear with me. We'll catch you on the other side. Hey, good morning, folks. It's my little buddy Nebo. <laughs> Sorry for the graininess of the video. Uh, spent my first night here at uh, Goose Pasture. Nice. Um, come on, buddy. Get on up there. He wants to get his cameo. <laughs> good morning. Go ahead, bud. <laughs> Anyways, my refrigerator is gone. It's broke. It's. I'm upset. Trying to find a warranty for it. It's only. It's not even six months old and uh you know it just stopped no warning no ifs ands or buts kept blowing fuses so uh, i guess i'm gonna have to investigate and, and get another more reliable one so um bear with me today i'm gonna kind of show y'all around the camp and uh, figure out what we're going to do about a refrigerator i can order one and it'll be delivered uh by saturday it was my Saturday. I was going to make my move anyway, so let me figure out what I'm going to do. Bear with me, see what we get into today. Good morning, Goose Pasture, uh, outside of Monticello, Florida, Perry, Florida. Catch y'all on the other side. Day three here at the camp. Not very many people coming in here. It was officially opened up uh, Monday. So when uh, my little uh, nomadic brother, Cotton, met him back in uh, late October over another camp. We'll go over and take a look at his bus. So bear with me. Let me get inside and... Let's see if I can get inside. Okay, hold on, just a minute. All right, here we are back inside uh, Cotton's bus. Here he is, the man, the myth, the mystery. Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, tell us about your bus, buddy. Once you go, it, you it, got it, in. It's a '99 uh, Chevy 3500. It's I uh, got a 350 uh, small block in it. Uh, I outfitted it with a uh, full-size house sink, a 20 by 20, one foot deep, uh, onboard propane stove, 50 gallons of fresh water, 25 gallons of gray water, uh, 600 amp hours in batteries, um, and this wood stove that everybody seems to like. Show a little bit better. That's right. It's not a great big one to the floor. He's got it right on the shelf right here. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It works. I mean, it's uh, it'll run you out of here for sure. Yeah. It gets hot enough. Uh huh. What size bed you got back there? A double bed. There you go. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, he built it out the roof and everything. He's uh, got his wood up there. It's actually paneling. He said. And the skylight is one of my favorite things. Skylight, he did last uh, week while we were sitting around there, Goose Pastor. I think he said he did it then. Yeah, put the film up. Yeah, I got, got tired of seeing what he's seen up there. 
<laughs> so yeah, he's got it all lighted, lighted up. And, yeah. well, it's, it's comfortable for, for one or intimate two, mm -hmm. you know, and you got the wife with you, but uh, yeah. self-contained and, and I love it. Yeah, good deal. And then that's an extra chair or extra the original yeah, chair was in here. This is uh, the onboard lazy board. This is this is the old driver's mm -hmm. seat. And uh, it was so comfortable that I decided to keep it for my uh my uh, for my onboard seat. Uh-huh. And this wood floor he did while we was there uh, while we was here at camp. He did it in a day. Put the wood floor in him. He tell him why you didn't like the floor you had it <laughs> I had I had a I had a tile floor in it and it was gray. Uh-huh. And after, uh, you know, sitting in here three or four days with it raining, it gets to looking a little hospital-like and institutional-like. It wasn't very warm, so mm. uh, I, uh, I decided to go with a, with a wood. I'm glad I yeah. did. Yeah, nice. It looks, it's got the cabin feel to it. Don't feel like a bus on the inside at all. Well, yeah. Well, we don't, well appreciate you, Cotton. Thanks yes, for sir. showing Thank us you. around. Thank Tell us coming. about it. Yep, yep. Um, and we'll catch y'all on the other side. Bear with us. Wow, wasn't that pretty awesome? You know, he did it all himself. Uh, uh, disabled, retired trucker like myself. Uh, he's uh, out of Pensacola, Florida. Gotten, uh, and we was talking, you know, and uh, I was telling him about what I did with my genealogy research, the genealogist, I guess you would say. And uh, come to find out, he's a distant cousin on my dad's side. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? Uh, but, uh, Good hearted feller. Uh, he's got the trucking blood in him, like uh, like myself, and uh, you know it's uh, it's been enjoyable. You know, uh, uh, meeting up with him. Uh, I met him back in October, and uh, uh, at another camp here in the Panhandle. You know, and uh, uh, then we started talking, and uh, you know, uh, he's wanted to meet up with me here again at Goose Pasture because uh, we've crossed paths before, but we never talked to each other until back in October so uh, that's gonna be the video uh, in the week we'll be getting ready to go to our next camp over outside of Crawfordsville Florida in the Apalachicola National Forest I already gave y'all the GPS coordinates on that let y'all know where I was at so I um, appreciate y'all hanging out this far with the video thank you God bless you y'all stay safe stay healthy don't forget remember yesterday live for today Hope for tomorrow. We'll catch you on the other side.